Hey guys, it's Goldie, and today we're doing Gaston's level 4 friendship quest. I am trying to work my way through all of these characters <laughs> because I know I've been slacking. So, um, I hope you're excited. I am. I love Gaston. He's my favorite. <laughs> Let's get into it. You're just in time to entertain me. I've grown bored. Go on, do something amusing. I don't know why I come to see you. Because you idolize me, of course. Ha! Huh. Oh yeah, that's definitely it. Or, nah, it's morbid curiosity. Ugh. Um, I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna say, oh yeah, that's definitely it. What do you normally do for fun? Ah. I hunt and then talk about my success. No, not happening here. Mm -mm. There's nothing to hunt around here, Gaston. <sighs> well then, don't just stand there. Suggest something. What about fishing? Do I look like an old man sleeping through his life? Um. <laughs> nah, uh, kinda? <laughs> well, I'm not, but I will tell you, and only you, I have fished before. <laughs> During my time in the glittering dunes, I tried fishing in the quicksand. It did not go well. It did not go well for me either. There's some scary stuff in there. Just saying. Well, why don't we try fishing in the tangle? The fish there might be easier to catch, but they're far more dangerous. <sighs> Danger. Now you've got my attention. Oh yeah, there are piranhas, electric eels, and even those weird prisma shrimp. What are we waiting for then? I bet I can find a spot with more interesting fish than you. <laughs> All right, you can go. Now. It's always a competition with Gaston, eh? Yeah? All right, so I have to catch either an electric eel, a piranha, or a prisma shrimp in the wild tangle. I can do that. I think I actually have a fishing potion on my fishing pole right now. The lagoon is probably a good place. Here we go. Oh, look, there's a gold bubble right there. I do have a potion on, but hopefully it won't use it up since the bubble was already gold. <sighs> I got a little trigger happy there. <laughs> Whoops. A piranha, like in the Amazon. I'm a piranha, in the Amazon. Show Gaston what you caught. Okay, that was very easy. Where did, where did Gaston go? He's not even fishing. He's over here. What are you doing? I'm using the in-game map help and I'm not ashamed to say it. <gasps> I get so lost in this area. It's not even funny. All right, I'm giving him a piranha. I thought he was supposed to be fishing with me, but okay. Aren't I the best at fishing? Gaston. You didn't go fishing. I did. Did you really go fishing? Of course. Now, like any hunting trip, I'll have a new trophy. That was mine. Guess on. How do you think it will look on my wall next to the fish I caught? Wait, what? Oh, is he putting... He he did not go... I don't believe that he went fishing. He's... I guess he's putting my fish on the wall next to the one he caught. They'll really suit the vibe, but not my style. As long as they don't start singing. You guys remember the singing fish? Oh, my household definitely had one back in the 90s. Do mounted fish do that here? No. Unfortunately, they don't do that anymore. <laughs> no, they do not. So did the fishing scratch your itch for adventure? Actually, no. But I did find a piece of a compass while fishing. Oh, a piece of a compass. Strange. Yes, I had completely forgotten about it, but the memories are starting to come back. Oh, I found a compass ages ago. It had some sort of enchantment on it, and it was leading me to amazing treasures. Sadly for me, the compass has broken apart since I last saw it. No worries, I'll try to find the rest of the compass. Maybe it will lead us to more treasure. Yeah. Hey, I give the orders around here. Huh? But yes, do that. <laughs> oh, Gaston, so funny. Huh. Okay, so find a compass fragments near the water using the hourglass at the docks, the oasis, and the grasslands. All right, we got this. I'm pretty sure I just find them in like the regular time bending like this and not in the sand, the swirling sands. Okay. 
Ah, there we go. Found one. Now to the oasis. Got him. And the grasslands. All right. Now go to a time bending table to reassemble the compass. Is he just going to like supervise me? Is that what's happening here? Gaston's repaired compass. I love that animation for the time bending table. Investigate the Gaston, <laughs> investigate the compass in your inventory. Um, Saved from the ravages of time, this compass might lead you to hidden treasure. Use? Oh, it's another like <gasps> map of sorts, like a treasure map. Okay, so we got um, this shipwreck on top of this mountain in the Wild Tangle. We have the waterfall. I don't really know where that is. And then we have um, the Cave of Wonders. And I noticed this like trail of, it almost looks like smoke, unless if that's just supposed to show that the picture is dirty. <laughs> I might be looking too much into that, but okay. So I know where the Cave of Wonders and the shipwreck is, so let's start with that. Oh, talk to Gaston. Look at that, a memory pointing to lost treasures. <laughs> well done. Well done, Gaston. I had to look and see. Yeah, no, that's Gaston saying that. <laughs> you just congratulated. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Oh, wait. Oh, are you wondering why I congratulated myself? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Well, I am the one who pointed you down the path of adventure. Now we can go hunt down those lost treasures. Yes, and once I'm in possession of those valuables, Belle will surely be impressed. Why did I forget that he's like obsessed with Belle? For some reason, like in this within this game, I completely forgot that that was a thing. Like he never talks about Belle really until now. Gaston, who knows who those treasures actually belong to? You're saying if I find them, I can't keep them? Probably not. You're no fun. I mean. I kind of agree with him, not gonna lie. Think of it this way, if we can return those items to their owners, you'll be seen as a hero for finding them. There's no reason to think that their owners are even looking for them at this point. Let's hold off on judging that, okay? Guest on the hero, eh? I like the sound of that. Great, time to start searching. Okay, let's head over to the Cave of Wonders, that's the easiest. Wait a minute, what's that? Oh, I see the treasure. What is it? A mysterious climbing pick. A climbing pick that has the look of a trusty tool that has seen much use. That immediately makes me think of Kristoff, I suppose, because there was another quest where we had to find his like climbing gear or something. Kristoff seems like a random character to add into this though. Okay, well there's the shipwreck. Um, do we see? Yes, there is a treasure. A brush? A mysterious brush. An ancient looking brush with a few hairs still caught in the bristles. Hmm. That could be Rapunzel or it could be um, Ariel. She likes human things. Although she thinks a brush is a fork, so maybe not. And lastly, I think it's the waterfall over there. Yep, on the other side of this bridge. There we go. The last treasure is a light bulb. An ancient looking light bulb that has burned out a long time ago. How is that ancient looking? <laughs> That's what light bulbs look like now, right? Show the treasure to Gaston. <sighs> what? These aren't treasures. They're just junk. <laughs> Still, I did work hard to find them. That's got to count for something. <laughs> hey, I helped. We, Gaston, we found them. Or Gaston, we talked about this. Um, I'm going to say we found them. Really? I could have sworn I did it all by myself. This man. At least now we can track down who they belong to. Ah. Me? 
No, remember what I told you about appearing like a hero? <laughs> oh, right. I suppose we can return them then. We've got a brush, a light bulb, and a climbing pick. Let's take a closer look. The brush. There are some very long hairs in here. It's gotta be Rapunzel. But they're all bleached after being in the desert so long. No way to tell who they belong to from the color. The light bulb. I've never seen such an item before. Oh, I guess he wouldn't have because... I guess that wasn't invented back then when during his movie. They make light. They can be used for all sorts of things like bright decorations, grow, grow lights for plants, and so much more. Hmm, sounds like something Belle's father would make. Yeah. And the climbing pick. Someone with a taste for adventure owned that one. Definitely. Let's go talk to different villagers and see if we can figure out the rightful owners. I made notes in case your memory isn't as razor sharp as mine. Okay, thanks. Thanks, I guess. Fine. <laughs> Onwards, I'll keep the items with me for now so I can return them myself and receive rightful praise. All right, you can go. He's the worst. Okay, so I was thinking that it's probably Wally for the light bulb. Let's see. Hi, Wally. Are you missing a light bulb? Oh, whoa. No. <laughs> Not yours? Guess we'll have to keep looking. <gasps> You're looking up at the sky. Does it belong to someone who can fly? Oh, is it Eve? Thanks for the tip. I'll keep looking. Is there anybody else here? Okay, I was thinking Kristoff for the climbing gear, so let's go ask him. It's right up here. Oh, hey. Hey, Kristoff. Gaston and I are looking for the owner of a climbing pick. Have you lost any lately? Nope, can't say I have. Oh, I thought this would be yours for sure. I guess it was a little small for you, though. I'll keep looking. Yeah. Good luck in your search. A little small, hmm? All right, so it seems all the characters have appeared nearby that might be relevant. So, um, Scrooge likes adventures. Maybe let's talk to Scrooge. Hey, Mr. McDuck, do you have a moment? I always have a moment for you. What can I help you with? Gaston and I are trying to track down the owner of a climbing pick. Could it be yours? Leap in Loch Ness, I'm sure it is. I thought I'd lost it forever on an exploration back in my adventuring days. Well, it might be a little time worn now, but still in good condition, Gaston will bring it to you. Thank you kindly. <laughs> this almost makes up for getting me to invest in a business with no revenue. <laughs> Sorry. Ha, <laughs> ha, happy to help. I'll let you discuss the whole investment situation with Gaston. I'm just the middleman, leave me out of it. <sighs> All right, so we found the owner of the climbing pick, the light bulb. Maybe Merlin, since he's standing right here. Well, hello. Merlin, guess, oh, a brush. Oh, a brush, he has long, I'm just noticing, he has like the long bleached hair, bleached hair, I see. Merlin, Gaston and I found a brush in the desert, could it belong to you? You know, it just might. I had completely forgotten about my beard brush. Great, I'll get Gaston to bring it back to you. Listen closely. Mickey gave that to me as a gift long before the forgetting. Why the, and well, my happened. beard has been rather out of sorts. I'll be glad to brush it thoroughly. All right, and the light bulb is Eve, yes. Hello Eve, did you happen to lose a light bulb? Hmm, oh, you seem pretty happy. I'm gonna take that as a yes. <laughs> Wally, hey, was it a gift from Wally? Aw, well, I'm happy that it will be returned to you. Gaston will bring it over right away. All right. Gaston, the rightful owners of all the items have been determined. Excellent. I'll return them so they can all thank me. So, how did that feel? It was pleasant. Though no one was grateful enough to give us a proper reward. Doing good is its own reward. You sound like someone who's gotten used to not being rewarded. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that was a good one. Still, <laughs> still, I can tell that you did your best to entertain me today. It's important to reward a sidekick when they're at least attempting to do well. <laughs> yeah. 
If you put up fishing trophies in your house as well, you can imagine you're me. What? Hold on. <sighs> okay. If you put up fishing trophies in your house as well, you can imagine you're me. So here, I have this. These are kind of gross. Oh, thanks, Gaston. You may not be the best sidekick, but you did help me discover the benefit of being a hero. I'm not your sidekick. <laughs> not with that attitude, you aren't. <laughs> Run along for now. I'll be in touch if I need you again. Not so bad. Well, that about covers it for Gaston's level four quest. I would say it's exactly what I expected from Gaston. And um, I do still think he's like the best written character in the whole game, but I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. And if you did, please click the like button, leave a comment and subscribe if you want more Disney Dreamlight Valley content. But otherwise I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye.